In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to connect your Apple television to your home theater surround sound system and your high def flat screen television. One of these methods is going to work with the equipment that you either have or are getting ready to buy. first method you're going to need two HDMI wires. Plug one end into the back of the Apple TV. Plug the other end of that HDMI wire into an available HDMI input on the back of your surround sound receiver. Take your second HDMI wire on the back of your surround sound receiver locate the HDMI out. In this example I have two HDMI outs. I'm going to use the one labeled main. Take the other end of that second HDMI wire, locate an available HDMI input on the back of your television, plug it in there. Go ahead and plug the power cable into your Apple television. Now in this video, we're making the assumption that you've already set up your Apple television. If you haven't, you're going to need to go through the setup steps. Apple is really good taking you through step by step setting up an Apple TV for the first time. Once you show the Apple TV picture on your flat screen TV, you can follow those setup steps. As your Apple television is booting up, and it does take a few moments, go, go ahead and turn power on to your surround sound receiver too. Also turn on your TV. Once your TV is turned on, make sure it's set to the correct source. As you can see on the screen, our sample television is set to the wrong source. Currently the television is set to AV, noted by the letters AV in the top left of your screen we want to go to the HDMI. So now the television is set to the correct source. Although we've selected the correct source input on the television, there's still no picture. We need to set the correct source input on the face of the surround sound receiver as well. Now we see the screensaver of the Apple TV appear on our television. That connection is done. Let's take a look at the alternate method for connecting your Apple television. In this alternate method, I still have the HDMI wire plugged into the back of the Apple television. I'm going to take the other end of that HDMI wire and plug it directly into the television. Now one benefit of connecting it using this methodology is you're going to get the very cleanest picture because you're not running that video signal through a surround sound receiver. Although it's ever so slight, they will degrade the picture a little bit. You probably won't notice it, but it does. The next connection, we have to go out and buy a separate digital toss link cable connect that to the output on the back of the Apple TV. Take the other end of that digital toss link cable, locate an available optical input on the back of your surround sound receiver and plug it in. As I showed you the steps earlier for operating the equipment, you need to select the HDMI input on the television and you need to select the appropriate audio source input that I plug this toss link into on the surround sound receiver. In the third and final method, I'm only going to make one small change from the second method I just showed you. That change is, I disconnect the toss link cable from the back of the Apple TV
on the back of my television I look for an audio out an optical audio out not every television has it but if yours does you can use this method and I plug that Toslink cable right in there if you found this information useful please subscribe to our channel there's a link right below our video also that will take you to our website. We have hundreds of useful articles there. If you know anybody who can benefit from these how-to type videos, will you please share a link with them? We appreciate your time. We hope you have a great day.